You are welcome to the Mirror TV. We offer you news, local, national, and international, on politics, religious, and social cultural events, project work documentary, live documentary, and a lot more. Contact us today and do not forget to subscribe to our channel so as to get our updates on daily basis. Proscribed Islamic movement Shiite has killed over two police personnel and injured many in Abuja, the nation's capital, during the group's procession activity in the nation. The black movement of Nigeria is a proscribed group. It is a proscribed group. They don't have right to protest. 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 They don't but we didn't know that they would start it like this. Yeah. If um, if people are known to be um, not law abiding, then by now they should have worked out strategies to be able to contain them. Okay, to be able to contain them before um, they, they they create a scenario of of, of, of chaos. So the police have arrested 97 suspects in connection with the killing. A manhunt for more suspects is on. I've looked for them and I'm getting them. Uh, we have moved into Niger, we are getting them. Wherever they are, we are going to get them. The IGP has also reaffirmed the unalloyed zeal of the force to arrest other involved persons and bring the killers to justice. The Islamic movement in Nigeria has clashed with law enforcement agents at least eight times since 2014. In 2015, a confrontation with the Nigerian army in Zaria resulted in the deaths of over 300 Shiites, including leader Sheikh Zagzaki's son. If I did mean to take out the call, I'm all for it. I'm trying to stretch it so that this, you don't have unnecessary delays that create the impression that people are not being punished for misdemeanors. There are concerns that the worst is yet to come if processions like this are allowed to degenerate into violence. Uh, you are, uh, you are also in, 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 in the knowing of what has been happening concerning the, the Shiite group and the conflicting uh, uh, and the police uh, and, and the security agencies. So it is a responsibility now, the police as a representative, as public representatives, to see how best they can use some 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 amicable tools to resolve the conflict. Otherwise, if they decide to take it the way uh, the commissioner of police uh, has talk, believe you me, it's not going to end well. Because from their own side also, they will try to see how best they can also retaliate. Remember, killings of the security agencies is not a new thing in Nigeria by lots of groups, by the armed groups, by the religious groups, by a lot of these groups. But the point one is trying to portray is that several uh, 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 issues have occurred concerning the police uh, murder Several issues have occurred concerning the security uh, matters. Several issues have occurred concerning the public being murdered by the security agencies. What do you do with that? Has there been a big major? Uh, we seem to be struggling with your audio. Uh, Some committee of inquiry should be established by the government, a neutral body, so that it will find some recommendation that the government, if it's willing to, to, to adapt for a lasting solution, then it has to have a neutral body, a strong body, that will look the two sides. If you go to the chair, they will tell you it's not true. If you go to the police, they will tell you it's not true. So we need a neutral body at the center to investigate and the recommendation of the committee should truly be implemented by the government. Otherwise, believe you me, this is just a case of, uh, of 
an iceberg between the, the security agencies and the public. Remember, Shokowati is there, which is also a coiling uh, tool for any crisis to erupt wherever in the world. So it is not a matter of saying uh, the police have done this or the, the, the Shia have done this. It is a matter of having a strong neutral committee that will investigate thoroughly about the instance including the previous one and whosoever found guilty should be punished according to the nigerian law nobody is about the loop nobody believe you nobody is about the loop and why things are happening the way they are happening is because things have happened and nothing is done from the side of the government whosoever is living in the country that person is still below the, 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 the fundamental uh, the, the, the law of the land of that particular uh, state is living. So it is now the responsibility of the government now to take everybody along. It is a collective responsibility from the side of the Shiites to see how peaceful they will organize themselves. Believe me, all the Shiites, the security agencies, need total reorientation, total reorganization, and total redirection for us to have a peaceful uh, Nigeria. Otherwise, if you are trying to blame this, when 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 it happens in Zaria 2015, it's just a matter of uh, of, 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 of uh, putting uh, of arresting the, 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 the leader, jailing him. But after what? What has there? What was uh, the whole saga? Nothing. So it is a responsibility. When he when he is found guilty, let him be punished. If the security agencies are found guilty, let them also be punished. So that it will uh, be uh, sharp as a detriment. To so other uh, intending uh, conflicting parties. It shows that we don't have law in Nigeria. We don't have law. We only have law in books and papers. But the actual implementation of the rules and responsibility of each and every one of us is not practical, uh, practical. So in the earlier the government uh, stopped blaming, or the public stopped blaming the other parts, what we do is a matter of punishing whosoever found guilty. Yeah. Uh, that's just the only thing that is the solution. Otherwise, we will just be blaming the uh, uh, parties in Nigeria. Believe me, this is not the plan route. It's not about, it's not even 2021. The crisis started in 1991 in the Northwest. 1991, 1992, 1986. In fact, there were a lot of issues since 1970s. That was the beginning. And it is also the responsibility from the side of the Shiite, whenever they are going for, 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 for this procession, to also notify the public at all that, okay, we are going to have this for uh, reason being A, B, C, D. From this road to that road, give us power. And it is also the responsibility from the side of the security agency to maintain law and order by giving them power up to the end. Or they may decide to say, no, this is what is going to happen. Or why don't you do this in a more amicable manner? That's how it should be done. But it has never been from the Shiite side and from the security side. The second question is that even the police, the Niger police, are this overstretched. They don't have the capacity, they don't have the manpower. So they, that was why initially I was telling you that we need total reorientation of the police force, total reorganization of the police force, and total redirection. So that by that, it provides a platform, a level playing ground for them to be able to contain whatever issues may like need to arise. Believe me today, if the Shiites will come out in mass, if the police will come out in mass, do you think the police force can be able to question the tension of the Shiites? They will not, on the both sides. What do you want, for example, if you really need to serious, to prevent another set of crisis, if not handled now, we are talking about now, now, if not handled carefully now, it will also uh, terminate to another level. Don't forget, Northern 
accidents, also facing issue of insecurity banditry. So is the issue of proliferation of arms and ammunition here yeah, we are talking about? This particular group can also find their way to get this, to be a youth with this. So if not handled carefully by the government, believe you me, when because they are in large number, the eyes are not as uh it are not as many as the Shiites. So if the Shiite now decided to take arms, nobody is safe in Nigeria. So the idea of the government look at it on that perspective. Either having a neutral budget committee, a neutral committee to investigate deep into this matter. Find out the recommendation. Look at the dual rewards. Do we implement such? Look at the reconcile work, reconcile, and vote ahead. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and drop your comment now.